The UK has always been historically a very strong player in research in life sciences. It's really, really important for the UK to show that they are at the top of innovation. A huge part of this is about digital health and AI. By having this partnership in place between a university, a large company like NVIDIA bringing C1 into the UK and the NHS, will be able to solve those major two issues, access to data, access to power. We believe this is just only the starting point of a complete new kind of, of, of development for us uh, in terms of building those uh, prediction models, building those diagnostic tools. We've been working on trying to achieve synthetic brain for, for many, many years. And we have demonstrated proof of principle that we can achieve this, but we've never been able to do it at the resolution of an, a current MR scanner acquisition. Cambridge One make it possible because it enables us to go at a resolution that we will never be able to go to before. And we show it. I mean, we, we already have exciting results. Holy Grail will be, will be to be able to understand, for instance, how one of your organs is going to progress, is going to evolve over time. And one way of doing this is to identify what is your trajectory, how you look today, how you will look tomorrow, and how your organ was looking yesterday. So the way, the way you can see Cambridge One is really bringing a super power computer into an NHS environment. And rather than considering it to live outside of the hospital, then you can link it within the network of the hospital and then it can be fully secured, fully, fully completely safe. This is really just the beginning of a new journey of how AR in healthcare can really demonstrate that it will transform the way that we run our hospitals, we improve operational efficiency, but as well, we treat patients in a much more specialized way.